All right, welcome to Quick Tips. Today we're just going to be dealing with a quick tip on how to do something through the process of running all these videos, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. I'm doing a bunch of different things. So figured if there's something that uh, worked out really well and really cheap, I should just make a quick little mini video and show you how well it works. So that way we can get some people that aren't interested in our builds, but still need some ideas for their own project. So, today we're talking about mounting a universal radiator. All right, so you pick up a nice radiator, you got it at a good price, it's nice, thick, but it's a universal mount, which on one hand, it makes it half as much as a direct fit, and on the other hand, you need to figure out a way to mount this. Now there's a handful of different things that you can buy online. There's little $30 mounts, $20, even $40, $50, $120, just to kind of mount this thing. And I wasn't a huge fan of either one of them because it didn't seem like it was very cost effective. So I came up with my own plan. Enter the hockey puck. Now if you watched and subscribed to my videos, you'll probably have already seen this, but for those that haven't, we take some hockey pucks, and depending on the size of your radiator, you cut down the sides, and then countersink a hole to run a bolt and a washer, and then for the nut certs that I'm using, I countersunk the other side. So this allows us to bolt this to our bottom radiator support and slide the radiator right on top. All right, so you can see our bottom radiator support here and our hockey pucks just go right over. We've got the thread inserts, so they just go right over on both sides and that countersink on the back side lets it sit flat on the surface and I ran enough room for a one inch washer to go with a quarter inch stainless bolt that's about inch and a half long. Nope, I got inch long. This will allow you to run this through, right through the hockey puck. All right, it allows you to put it straight through. Once the hockey pucks are in, all right, nice. All right, so the last bit is just gonna be putting our pads where we want them. And then we'll just come through and put on the strap to this upper radiator brace that I kind of made. It doesn't need to be too heavy duty. Just needs to keep it from rolling around and in the car when you jump it. So, That's pretty much the quick hockey puck radiator trick. All right, so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed already, feel free to subscribe so you can get some more of these quick tips or watch me use some of these things in action while I'm building this thing. But that's gonna be it, and hopefully we'll see you around next time.